Well, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. I'm Dennis, coming to you live from the Cincinnati Razorback Room in beautiful Siloam Springs, Arkansas. And today we're going to do a video that's a little bit different. Yeah, we're going to play a game, okay? And we're going to use two new sets that are out right now. We're going to use two sets of the same era with, with players of the same era playing against each other. And it's going to be the free agent era. And it's going to be set number six and set number seven. But what I'm going to do in this video, and it's going to be a long video. I'm just warning you right now. It's a long video. I'm going to take you through the selection of the lineups. I'm going to try to play every player. There's 36 players on each team. So I'm going to try to get in all 72 players in the game. And I'm going to waive the three batters for a pitcher rule so that I can get in a couple of relievers here and there and make sure that I use all 12 pitchers on each team. And then uh, I'm going to show you split screens of the spinners as they're working. I'm going to try to use all the strategy that I can. And I'm going to uh, try to guide you through a complete complex game of star power baseball from start to finish. So kick back and enjoy. If you're going to have questions, feel free to get on our Facebook page at Star Power Baseball on Facebook and ask questions there. Uh, you may subscribe, like us, whatever you want to do. I mean, comment on this video. or All comments are totally welcome. Good, bad, ugly, it doesn't matter. Just enjoy it or don't. But uh, this is what Star Power Baseball is all about. Once again, I'm your host, Dennis, and I'll be guiding you through a complete game from start to finish, Star Power Baseball. First things first, let me take you around my game board before I start everything. Show you that I've got card stands out with uh, injury cards, the three card. They'll stand there. These are for my bullpen. These two right here, this one and this one are going to be for my bullpens as they get up. That right there is my injury and, you know, my strategy and three cards. More card holders over here that will hold more cards. This is where my batters will go on both sides of the game board. And then, of course, my bench and then my burn players will go over here. So you can see that I pretty much have a really intricate little setup right here ready to play Star Power Baseball. And I'm set up. I use uh, about a dozen card holders is what I use because I like organization and I like everything out where it's supposed to be. Lights on the stadium and uh, just ready to play. Here it is, Star Power Baseball from Dennis. Here we go. First thing that I do is I sort my cards out. I'll put my pitchers right here in the center. So you can see, this is, hey, I told you it's going to be a long video, but we're going to go through the selection process. And there are 12 pitchers in each one of these sets. Okay, there's my 12 pitchers. And then I have players at each position that I'm going to put around also. And I'll sort those out. And as soon as I sort those guys out, I'll come right back to you. Well, as you can see, I have them sorted out. There's first base, second base, shortstop, third. My catchers are here. Pitchers, center fielders, and corner outfielders are over here. Now, it's time to break them down and to pick the starters out of each one of those. All right, here we go with the starters at first base. You got Davis, Hargrove, and Mattingly. We're going to go with Davis, team six, Alvin Davis, second base. You got Whitaker, Perconti, and Dower. We're going to start Rich Dower at second base. Going over to the shortstop, we've got Craig Reynolds, Robin Yount, and Rick Burleson. We're going to start Hall of Famer Robin Yount out at shortstop. At third base, we've got George Brett, Reitz, and Jeff King. We're going to go with my buddy Jeff King, Arkansas player. Out at catcher, we're going to go with Weiniger, Davis, or Ed Ott. We're going to start Butch Weiniger at catcher. In the uh, outfield, you got nine guys out there. Go through those. You can see what we got. And we're going to go with Maldonado, Cruz, and Mumphrey, and we're going to use George Bell as the DH. The starting pitcher is going to be one of those 12, and we're going to go with lefty Floyd Bannister for our starting pitcher. The other team first is Franklin Stubbs, Jackson, and we're going to go with Stubbs. At second base, we've got, uh, uh, let's see, Flannery, Wilfong, and we're going to go with Flannery. I'm missing some of these, but hey, I, I'm trying there. Wilkerson, Concepcion, and Metzger over at short. We're going to go with Kurt Wilkerson 
Over at third base, we've got Seitzer, Ontiveros, and Pedro Guerrero. We're going to go with Kevin Seitzer at short. Our catchers, we have uh, uh, Little John, Ashby, and, and uh, Steinbach. We're going to go with Alan Ashby at catcher. In the outfield, there's nine of them. We're going to go with four. We're going to go with Bo Jackson, Dick Davis, Marvell Wynn, and Albert Bell will be our DH. We have 12 pitchers to choose from, and we're going to start Steve Rogers as our starting pitcher. All right, folks, lineups have been picked. Starting lineups are on the field. You can see they're in the trays to the outside of the cards there. That's the home team. This is going to be the visitors and the home team here. Pitching over here for the visitors is Floyd Bannister. Pitching over here for the home team is going to be Steve Rogers. Bannister is a 6-0, donated by the six pips over here. Pitcher performance markers, or pips as we call them, which will be his fatigue factor. He has no respin, so I have no dice over here. Steve Rogers is a 7-2, S7 plus 2, so he comes up with 9, 9 PIPs or pips, and 2 respins. Okay, the first thing that we do is we're going to spin the injury card. Put it in the spinner. I usually let the home team spin the injury card, and boom. If it lands on the one, we'll have an injury. It lands on the seven. We're not going to have an injury yet. Take it out, put it back where it belongs, over there, and we're ready to start the game. Now, normally, the batters are kept in their holder on the outside, but when I'm batting, I like to keep the batters in my hand, okay? So our leadoff hitter is Robin Yount. We're going to place him in the spinner, like you. We'll spin Steve Rogers. Oh, by the way, you, you, when you announce, you announce he's at 234. So our infield will move in at third base. So our third baseman is in. That way, if he decides to drag bunt and the ball goes to third base, we could make a play. So Robin Yount is up. I place him in the spinner with the third baseman in. They say spin the pitcher. Steve Rogers spins. He spins a B. Robin Yount gets to spin his card, and he spins a 9. That's a walk. And we're going to let that one go. We could re-spin that, but on the leadoff hitter, we're going to let that go. Yount is a 3-4 runner. To represent that, I'll put a 3 and a 4 out here, like yay. Okay, a 34 up. And Yount goes to the back of my pile. Up next is Jerry Mumphrey. We announce him. Jerry is a 143. I'm going to hold Robin Yount on first base. They say spin the pitcher, so I'm going to put the batter in the batter's spinner. Spin Steve Rogers. Steve gets a B for Jerry Mumphrey. Mumphrey spins for the B and spins a 5 triple. You can see that is a 5 triple. That's going to cause Steve Rogers to burn a respin, making Mumphrey respin. Mumphrey spins and spins a 10. That's a strikeout for one out. The national or the team seven is going to set somebody up in the bullpen and they're going to dig into their pitcher's pile and they're going to bring into the bullpen. Mario Soto. He's going to warm up in the bullpen. Remember, no pitchers are going to go more than one inning. Up now is George Bell. George Bell is a 0-23. They're going to hold the runner at first base. Robin Yount's not going to steal. Steve Rogers spins, spin the pitcher. He spins a home run minus. George Bell into the slot. Spinning George Bell, and he spins... A double. That's an 11. That's a double. Steve Rogers will burn his final respin. George Bell must respin again. Spins a 10. Strikeout. So far, Rogers has been very effective with the respins. Respinning a home, respinning a double and a triple and getting two strikeouts. With two outs, the batter is going to be Alvin Davis. He's a sack zero. R0, uh, bats right, S0, A0. They're going to hold on Robin Yount, but Team 6 says we're going to full count, hit, and run. 
So they take the hit and run card, place it in the spinner, and anything except the batter misses pitch, the, then you will spin the pitcher. So spinning the hit and run card, and it lands on F, which means go ahead and spin the pitcher. By doing that, you also move the infield back. They're not going to hold the runner. We get a B. Alvin Davis now spins and spins a 13. Rogers has no respins. The ball, a 13, is hit to center field. And running on the pitch, Yount scampers to third. Alvin Davis is a 0-0. Zero, zero. He's on first base with two outs. So we have runners at, by the way, we didn't take the pip off for Yount, and we're going to take another one off for Alvin Davis. So we're down to seven with no respins. Runners on first and third with Jeff King is now the batter. King is a 134, sack one, S3A4. They're not going to hold the runner on. He's a 0, zero. He's not going to run. Spin the pitcher. Steve Rogers spins. A B to Jeff King. Jeff King spins and spins a fly ball out for the third out. Eight is a fly ball anywhere. With two outs, we don't worry about spinning the, in, the outfield or infield card. So that makes three outs. Inning over, no score. Remove the base runners. Take your cards, set them in your card holder, and put it on the side of the game board. And now, team number seven is going to come to bat, and when they do, <coughs> team number six is going to warm up a pitcher, and they're going to warm up Tommy John. Tommy John gets up in the bullpen, and Floyd Bannister is pitching. What better way to start than with a Bo Jackson card? Bo is a 0 44, as you can see, sack 0 44. Put him in the spinner. Spin Floyd. Bannister spins a B to Bo Jackson, who spins a 10. Steve Wright, 3 for Bo Jackson. One out. That brings up Tim Flannery, who's a 2 1 1. They're going to play back. Floyd Bannister spins. Floyd spins a B. Tim Flannery spins and spins a ground ball. Spinning the ground ball card to see if it's an error. It is not. If it would have landed on the error, we'd have spun it again to see where it goes, but it did not, so that is an out. So Flannery grounds out. That brings up Albert Bell. Albert is a 0 23. We spin Floyd Bannister, place Bell in the Thing, and he gets a double H. <clears throat> but that means if Albert Bell hits the 11, the 5, or the 1, it's a home run. Here we go. Albert Bell spins a walk. So he didn't want to pitch to him. And Albert walks, takes him down to 5 pips. Albert is a 2 3 on first base. And that brings up the cleanup hitter. Franklin Stubbs. He's a 134. They're going to hold the runner and they say, well, we're going to hit and run full count. So that means the first baseman now backs up, not holding the runner, spinning the hit and run card with two outs. And you spin anything but misses pitch means spin the pitcher, spinning Floyd Bannister, spinning Floyd for a B. Franklin Stubbs. Spins a 12, that's a ground ball, that is three outs. No runs. No runs, no score in the first inning. Okay, team number seven takes their players like this, puts them in the card holder, like yay, and puts them on the side. The pitcher is going to be changed, Steve Rogers. He's going to go into another card holder, but I'm going to turn him facing that way so that we know that he's been used. Okay, over here he goes, and into the game comes Mario Soto. Mario Soto is a 7-1, so he gets eight pips and one respin. Put Mario Soto in here. Now a lot of times what I'll do, knowing that I'm gonna change pitchers, 
I'll remove everything from here, put him away, so now I know that I'm going to change pitchers. Okay, coming up, Jose Cruz. Like I said, I'm going to try to get everybody in the game as, that I can. Jose Cruz is up. He is announced a 144. You can see that. So we're going to say in at third base, spinning Mario Soto. Soto spins a double H. Look at that. Jose Cruz hits a 11, 5, or 1. And Jose Cruz just spun an 11. It's an 11. It's close to the line, but it's not on the line. It is an 11, and that's a double H. So that is a home run for Jose Cruz. Boom. Yes, it is. Jose, around the bases. Mario Soto greeted not very lovingly there. Remove a pip there, and it's one to nothing. Up now is Candy Maldonado. Soto spins to, oh, we, we, we'll announce him, sorry. He's a 0-1-1. Spin the pitcher, spinning Mario Soto. Soto spins an H-F line. Maldonado with no respins is a right-handed batter. Soto choosing the line is going to choose the F line. That's a fly ball. If it lands on the E, it's an error. It lands on the P3, that is not an error, so that is one out. Now we have Rich Dower. Dower is a 0-0 runner with a sack 2, so they're going to play back. Soto spins. Say spin the pitcher. He spins a W. Anything but a walk, and Rich Dower will re-spin his card. He spins a 6. That is not a walk, so he re-spins. Dower spinning for the second time. Spins an 8. That's a fly ball. If it lands on the E, it's an error. Anything else is not. It lands on the M, so that is... Two outs. Now up is Butch Weininger, the catcher. He's a 2-0-0. They'll play back. Spin the pitcher. Spinning Mario Soto. He spins a B. Butch Weininger. Spinning the batter. Spins a 6. That's a ground ball middle. Doesn't land on the E. And so there are now three outs. But team number 6 comes up with a big home run by Jose Cruz. And so it is one to nothing. Now, as I said, knowing I'm going to change pitchers next inning, I'm now going to get a bullpen up right now. And I'm going to get up Pete Vukovic. He's up in my bullpen. Tommy John is coming in for the pitcher. And remember, I'm, I take him out and I put him away so that I know I'm going to change pitchers. Tommy John's coming in. And he's a 6 plus 1. That gives him 7 pips and 1 respin. And then to the slot he goes. As he's going in, they're going to warm up another pitcher. And they're going to warm up John Wetland. All right. So, we have set number 7 is up. Set number 6 is down. Set number seven comes to the plate in the form of Dick Davis. Dick Davis is a 121. They'll play deep for him. Tommy John spins. Dick Davis batting. Spins a G. Davis does not have a respin. Spin the ground ball card. If it lands on the E, it's an error. A is an out. Only thing we look for on spinning when you spin a ground ball with nobody on base. If it lands on the E, then you have an error. Otherwise, it's an out. Okay, one out. Kevin Seitzer is up now. Tommy John, uh, we announce. Seitzer is a 223. They'll bring the third baseman in. Tommy John spins. A G again. Kevin Seitzer, no respins. Ground ball card is spun. Does not land on the E. So you have two away. Marvell Wynn is up. He's a 232. They're going to come in at third base, and Marvell is going to try to lay down a bunt. So we're going to take the drag bunt card using the outer circle. Spinning the drag bunt card, Marvell win lands on the sack one. He is a sack two, so he gets his choice between F, foul ball, O, out. He'll take the foul ball, spin the pitcher. 
So the pitcher spins, Tommy John. A walk minus, a walk with a line over the top. Marvell wins, spins, and spins a 3 4 line. Okay? Marvell's a lefty, Tommy John is a lefty, and Tommy John is going to take, because it's lefty lefty, the pitcher gets the advantage. So Tommy John is going to take the four, which is a fly ball. Marvell can't make him respin it, and it lands on the M, so that is an out for the third out. I hope you're following, because if you if you have questions, please feel free to go to our um, Facebook page. I'm going to take my cards, put them in my card holder again like that, put them on the side of the board. Feel free to go to our Facebook page to ask questions there. I'm going to remove John from the game. Okay, he's coming out. He's pitched his one inning. I'm bringing in for team number seven. I'm bringing in uh, Vukovic to replace Mario Soto. So you got Vukovic. And Vukovic is a 6 0. So we put six up here. He does not get any respins. And he's in to the spinner. Robin Yount is the batter. He's our shortstop. And we're going to let Robin Yount go ahead and hit. He is a 234, so the third baseman has moved in. Yount says spin the pitcher. Vukovic does spin, spins a B. Yount is up, and Yount spins and spins a 14. Robin's got a respin, and he's going to use it right now. So he respins and spins a 211 line. They're both righties, so Vukovic is going to take the 11, I mean the 2. Yount says, boys, we're going to question that call. And so team number 6 uses a challenge in the third inning. This is their instant replay challenge. So they take the injury card, put it in, and spin it. Boom. This is their challenge spin. The spin lands on the 5. Okay. Now team number 7 has to answer that challenge. They need a five or higher to keep the call on the field as is. They spin a two. The call on the field is overturned because the team that challenged beat the team that got challenged. So Robin Yount chooses the result of 11. The result of 11 is a double, and that puts Robin Yount, a 34 runner, at second base. And the challenge worked. How about that? The challenge works. Younce on second. Nobody out. Bringing up Jerry Mumphrey, the center fielder. And they're going to pinch hit right here in the third inning for Jerry Mumphrey. And the pinch hitter is going to be Von Hayes. Von Hayes is coming in to pinch hit for Mumphrey. And that's in the third inning. Right there. And Von Hayes is a 144, so they're going to play deep for Hayes. Vukovic loses a pip. And here's the spin. A home run minus. So Von Hayes has a home run minus. He spins. A four. Vaughn has no respin, so that will be a fly ball. It's a pulled fly ball, so it will either go to center or right, because Vaughn's a left Vaughn is a left-handed batter. The ball goes, it says left field, but left field means a corner outfield. Since it was pulled, it goes to the right fielder. And they're gonna send Robin Yount and the right fielder for team number seven is uh, Dick Davis. And he's merely going to throw back to the cutoff man, allowing Yount to take third on the fly out. So there's one out. That brings up George Bell. George Bell's up. The infield must now decide where to play. And they're going to bring the infield in at first and in at third. Leave them back in the middle because Bell's kind of dangerous. And Bell spins pitcher Pete Vukovic. 
Spins a B. George Bell is up. George gets to spin and spins a 12. It's real close to the line, but I'm looking at it real good, and it's on the 12. George does have no respins, so it's a ground ball opposite. That means it either goes to second or first. We spin it, and on the inner circle, we found out who it goes to. It goes to the middle infielder who was back. Therefore, they make the play at first base. The runner at home is out. I mean, is safe, but the runner is out going to first. But a run scores. So George Bell drives in Robin Yount for the second run of the game. But now there are two away. Up comes Alvin Davis. Then he is a 0, zero, zero. They're going to pinch hit. For Alvin Davis, the first baseman, they're going to pinch hit with him with Mike Hargrove. Okay, so Hargrove comes in for Davis in the third with nobody on and two outs. The team seven is going to get up another pitcher. They're going to get up Stan Bonson. So Bonson is up. Stan Bonson is up. Mike Hargrove is the hitter, spinning the pitcher for Mike. By the way, he is a 1-1-0, not a threat to bunt. Hargrove spins on the result B from Vukovic, and he walks. Another walk for Team 6. And now Mike Hargrove is a 1-0. Okay, he's on first base, and they're going to pinch run, not with two outs, I'm not going to do it. Jeff King is up, and they're going to pinch hit for Jeff King, and they're going to pinch hit with Ken Reitz. Ken Reitz is the pinch hitter. with one out. I mean with two outs and one on. Reitz is a 1-0-0. Zero, zero. They're going to send the runner on a full count two out hit and run. Anything but batter misses pitch and we spin the pitcher. Spinning this gets a P. Spin the pitcher. Spinning P. Vukovic spins a B. Brings up Ken Reitz. Reitz gets his spin and he spins a fly out. No respins for Reitz, and he is the third out of the inning. But one run scores, and it is now two to nothing. Number six, beating up number seven. Take your cards once again, put them in your card holder, put it on the side of the board. Okay, Vukovic will be done for this side over here, so I'll take him out and put him in, the, I call him the dead pile. And now coming in will be John Wetland. Wetland is a 1-4, so he'll get five pips. One respin, or excuse me, five, uh, four respins, one inning. You can see one inning, four respins. That gives him five pips. He is in the game. They're going to warm up another pitcher. And the pitcher they're going to warm up is... Roger Erickson. Okay. That brings up Alan Ashby for team number seven. Ashby, a 2-0-1, spin the pitcher, spinning John Wetland. He spins a B. He's going to use a respin. Respinning that B, he now spins a B again, can't respin and respin. Alan Ashby spins. B is spin the batter, by the way. Alan Ashby singles. He's going to use another respin. Spins Alan Ashby again and spins an eight, which is a fly ball. The ball is hit to the outfield for an out. One out. If it would land on the E, then it would be a two base error. Otherwise, he's out out of there. 
Okay, now you have Curtis Wilkerson in the bottom of the third. He is a 233. Infield will move Reitz in at third base. Spin the pitcher. Spinning John Wetland. He spins a B. Curtis Wilkerson spins from the B and spins a 13. Wetland is going to make him re-spin that. That's his third re-spin that he's used. Wilkerson spins and spins a 10. Steve, right three. Two outs. The team six is going to change pitchers, taking out Wetland and bringing in Roger Erickson. We're going to go through a lot of pitchers. He's a 6-0, so he gets six pips with no respins. They're going to warm up another pitcher. The other pitcher that they're going to warm up is Ken Clay. Getting loose in the pan. And he is facing Bo Jackson. Spin the pitcher. Roger Erickson spins. Spins a G. Bo has no respins. So that is the third out. Put them in the card holder. Bo doesn't even get a chance. After three complete innings, the score is team number six, two, team number seven, zero. The new pitcher for team number seven is going to be Stan Bonson. As you can see, nobody's in the card holder. So we take Stan Bonson. We put, well, let's see what he is first. Six, zero. He's a 6-0, so he's got 6 pips with no respins. So you put your 6 over here. Okay. Erickson will no longer be in the game. We're going to take him and remove him, knowing now we have to replace him. That brings up Jose Cruz, who hit a home run last time. And because of that, they're going to allow Jose to bat again. Jose is a 144 spin the pitcher. No defensive shift. And he gets an X. Stan Bonson just hits Jose Cruz with a pitch after the home run. As the commissioner of the game, I always tell them if you hit a guy that hit a homer, it's a warning to both benches. Next hit batter will eliminate that pitcher and the manager. Spinning the injury card, if it lands on the one, he's hurt. If it lands on the two, he's not hurt, so he'll go to first base unharmed. But Bonson drills him. So Cruz, a 44, kind of limping down the line a little bit, got hit in the right leg. So they're going to bring in a pinch runner for him. They're going to bring in Mike Young for Jose Cruz. And Young's going to PR. Okay, so Mike Young's out there, and he's a 22, and he'll take over duties for Cruz out in the left field. That brings up Candy Maldonado, and they're going to pinch hit for Candy, and the pinch hitter for Maldonado is going to be is going to be Paul Householder. Paul Householder will hit for Maldonado. I've done keep this down because I'm using a bunch of guys. Householder is a, is a 132. They're going to hold the runner, and they're going to do a straight-up hit and run. By the way, he loses a pip for hitting a batter. Now we're going to do a straight-up hit and run, holding the runner on. Now you take the actual results of the hit and run card, and this time it is landing on F, foul ball, spin the pitcher. The runner is not running. Householder gets a B from Bonson. Householder spends his batting card and spends a 10 strikeout. One down. Good thing he wasn't running and he had to hold. Otherwise, it could have been a double play. Okay, that brings up Rich Dower. They're going to pinch hit for Rich Dower. Dower is the second baseman. And so they're going to use Jack Perconte. Perconte is a lefty, and they're going to pinch hit here. 
and they're going to try a hit and run again. But Conte doesn't strike out a lot. They're going to hold the runner once again. Here's the hit and run card in the slot. Spinning the hit and run card. Sending the runner. This time he gets a P. Spin the pitcher, the batter's running. Spinning Stan Bonson. Bonson gets a B. Spin the batter. Spinning Perconti. And he spins an 8. Fly ball. Hopefully he's got a respin. He does not. Runner looks. Goes back. Two outs. That brings up Butch Weininger. And they're going to pinch hit for Butch. The pinch hitter for Butch is going to be Paul O'Neill is going to pinch hit and Jody Davis will come in to catch. So they're going to pinch hit with Paul O'Neill. With two outs and a runner on first base. They're going to send the runner on a hit and run full count. He's getting his work in out there after coming in to pinch run. You bet he is. Here he goes. P, spin the pitcher. Anything but batter misses pitch. Spinning the pitcher. You get a B, spin the batter. O'Neill spins. A fly ball. He has one respin. He's going to use it. O'Neill does have a respin. He's going to use it. There he goes. Spinning again and spins a 12 10 line. O'Neill will take the 10 so it doesn't look so bad. I mean, the, the 12 so it doesn't look so bad for the third out of the inning. No runs. Okay, so O'Neill's burnt. Brings those guys back to that situation right there. No runs there. Set 7 will be batting. You're going to have a new pitcher come in for set six is going to be Ken Clay. Ken Clay is a 5-0, which means he goes five innings with no respins. He has five pips. Bonson is done. Take him out. Warm up another pitcher in the bullpen for team number seven. And they're going to get up Joe Sambito warming up in the bullpen. So, is, uh, let's warm up somebody else for Team 6, too. Let's get up for Team 6. Let's get up Dave Rigetti for Team 6. We're going to get up Dave Rigetti. Like I said, we're going to play most everybody we can. Tim Flannery is up, and they're going to pinch hit for Tim Flannery. And they're going to use Rob Wilfong is going to pinch hit for Flannery. All right, here we go. Wilfong is a 322. They'll bring the third baseman in. Spin the pitcher. Spinning Ken Clay, isn't that right? Yeah, Ken Clay gets a B. Spinning Rob Wilfong. Spins a six, that's a ground ball. No respin, so he spins the ground ball card. And it lands on a line P5E. Home field advantage goes to this team over here. They pick the error. The error and you can't respin a strategy card. The error is on the shortstop. So Wilfong is on, on an error by the shortstop Robin Yount. Okay, so Yount kicks it. Wow. Okay, so that might lead to something here. So, Will Phone, on an error, is a runner 22. Okay, so he's a 2-2 runner. And with nobody out, that brings up Albert Bell. They will let Albert Bell continue to hit. They're going to hold the runner on, spinning. Ken Clay, who's now down to four pips. He gets a B to Albert Bell. Rigetti's loose. Albert Bell spins. And look at that. That's right and almost in dead center in the one right there. That's a gone home run. Long gone home run by Albert Bell. And so a two-run shot. That's a hit. One earned run. And a 
home run. And it's two to two. Albert Bell busts it, man. The DH coming through. Brings up Franklin Stubbs, and they're going to pinch hit for Franklin Stubbs. And they're going to bring in Ron Jackson for Franklin Stubbs. Jackson pinch hitting. Down to three pips for Clay. They're going to remove Ken Clay. He goes no innings. And they're going to bring in Rigetti. Clay is done. Clay is done. Rigetti's a two plus one respin. Gives him three pips, one respin. They're going to warm up another pitcher out there in the bullpen. This time they're going to warm up Jose Rijo in the bullpen in a 2-2 two -two ball game here in the bottom of the fourth. Brings up Ron Jackson. They say he's a 2-1-0, not a speedy. Spin the pitcher. Rigetti spins to Ron Jackson. Spins a B. Jackson spins a single. And they allow that to stand. Not going to use Rigetti's respin yet. Single for Ron Jackson takes Rigetti down to two pips. Jackson is a one, zero. That brings up Dick Davis, the right fielder. They're going to pinch hit for Dick Davis. They're going to use. Ron Renicky. Ron Renicky is going to be the pinch hitter for Davis. Hopefully these names are meaning something to you guys out there. You get to see a lot of these old players playing. And here we go. Runner on first and nobody out. Ron Renicky is a 224. The infield is going to play. In, and they're going to hold the runner at first. They don't expect Renicky to sacrifice. And Renicky is going to fake them all out by laying down, a, attempting to lay down a sacrifice bunt. So we get out the sacrifice bunt card, place it in the spinner. First base is in, third is not. It lands on a sack or a 2S line. With the home field advantage, they're going to take the sack, and that means one out with a runner moving to second base. So Ron Renicky comes in and performs his task, pushing a runner up to second base, bringing up Kevin Seitzer, and they're going to pinch hit for Kevin Seitzer. You see that I'm trying to use all the players. I got 36 players to get in in nine innings. That's not going to be an easy task. Seitzer, the third baseman, is going to be pinched hit for by Steve Ontiveros. Steve Ontiveros is coming in for Seitzer. Ontiveros is a 0, zero 1 No threat to bunt there. Spinning the pitcher, Rigetti spins. A home run minus Ontiveros. Ontiveros spins and gets a... It's, it's close, but it's not there. It looks like... It might look like it from your angle, but from where I'm at, it's on the 6. Ontiveros has no respins. The ground ball is hit up the middle. It's hit to the second base side. We spin this again. Any uh, white, any white will move him to third. If it's colored, then we'll take the result of the colored uh, space. But it's a white. It sends the runner to third base for the second out in the inning. And now you have Marvell win, and we're going to pinch hit for Marvell. We're now going to use an. A pinch hitter for Wynn, who is our center fielder. And we're going to go out there now with Gary Maddox. Gary Maddox, pinch hitting for Marvell Wynn. Okay, with two outs and a runner on third, the infield is back. Spinning Dave Ligetti. He gets a G. Gary Maddox has no respins. That ends the inning for Team 7. Rigetti comes in, shaky a little bit, gives up a hit, but does his job. Nice, nice, nice. And the score now is tied 
at 2-2 two to two going into the fifth inning. That'll do it for Rigetti. He's going to sit, pulls that off, pulls the base runners off, have an empty field, need to get a pitcher in here. I have Joe Sambito loose. Sambito's a 1-2. That gives him three pips and two respins. Put Sambito in. Get a new pitcher up in the bullpen. The new pitcher that's going to be up is going to be Rob Dibble. So Dibble's up in the pen with Sambito pitching. Robin Yount, who kicked the ball, is going to be lifted. We're going to pinch hit for Robin Yount. And the pinch hitter for Yount is going to be Rick Burleson, the rooster. Pinch hitting for Young. Okay, Burleson is a 3-2-1. The infield will play in at third. Spin the pitcher. Spinning Joey. You have a BK line. I have a righty versus a lefty. And they're going to take the B. And team number seven is going to do their challenge. So they're challenging in the fifth, and they're going to challenge. So, team seven is the team that's challenging the call on the field. The call on the field is a B. Team seven spins first, spinning the card, they land on the five, just like last time. Now team six must spin a five or higher to win the challenge. Team six spins and spins a seven. The call on the field stands because the challenged team beats the challenging team. And so that is a strikeout for Joe Sambito for Rick Burleson. One down. Both teams have used their challenge. Nobody has one left. That brings up Vaughn Hayes. Vaughn Hayes will hit. Spin the pitcher because Vaughn is a 144, not going to threaten. That's lefty to lefty. As you can see, these fat lines for Sambito come into play. That's a GB line, lefty to lefty, Sambito picks the G, spin the ground ball card to see if there's an error. It is an F, close to the line again. Lines are huge in this game. Don't underestimate the lines on your cards because they will have a direct impact on what happens in the game. But that's a ground out that's not an error, so two outs. And remember, even if it would be on the EF line, the home team has the advantage picking the two results. And that's why the lines on these cars, they're real thick, giving a big home field advantage. George Bell is up, and they're going to pinch hit for their designated hitter, George Bell. And they're going to pinch hit with... For DH, let's go with... Uh, Let's go with Donnie Baseball. Donnie Baseball is going to be the new DH. Don Mattingly is coming in to pinch hit with two outs in the fifth inning and nobody on. Mattingly's a 0 0 0. Spinning Joe Sambito with two outs and he gets a G. Mattingly will not make him re spin right now. He'll accept the result. Spinning the ground ball card. It does not land on the E, so that's three outs. Put you guys back in the card holder, and you have the end of the inning. No runs. San Vito will be done after a very, very solid clean inning, and that's up for him. Coming into the game now is going to be Jose Rijo for team number six. Rijo is a 6-2, so he gets eight pips and two respins. So you can see how I set those up. Now in your new games, by the way, they'll have a place that says fatigue and respins right here so you'll know where to put your dice. This is an older version of the game. The new ones are out, little bitty tweaks and changes. I'm constantly trying to make it better for you guys. 
Okay. Bottom five. Alan Ashby is the batter against Jose Rijo, and they're going to pinch hit for Alan Ashby. The pinch hitter is going to be Dennis Littlejohn. So Littlejohn coming in for Ashby. In the fifth inning. He's a 3-0-0, no threat to bunt. Sack bunt, yes. Drag bunt, no. B is the spin. Spin the batter. Little John spins and strikes out. What a ball game, huh? Two to two. Okay, up comes Curtis Wilkerson, the shortstop, and they're going to pinch hit for Curtis. The pinch hitter is going to be Roger Metzger. M-E-T-Z-G-E-R. Metzger. Metzger is a 334, so they're going to play the infield in at both corners, thinking he's going to try to bunt against Riho. Spinning Jose Riho. He spins a B, and now you're hoping for a 212 or a base hit from Metzger, because then I get to spin that ground ball card. And I get a 7 single. Ah. Riho is going to burn a respin. Activity is going to start in the bullpen for team number six. They're going to get up Dan Spillner. Okay. And Metzger must respin because Riho told him to. And he still spins a single. Metzger spins a single. Riho gives up a hit. Take a pip off. Metzger is a 34 on first base. That brings up Bo Jackson. And I really hate not to use Bo Jackson, but I got to get everybody in the game. So Bo's done. Bo goes. Bo knows that Bo goes. So anyway, sorry, Bo. I really hate to take you out, but I have to. And I'm going to bring in, replacing Bo Jackson is going to be Mel Hall. Mel Hall with a runner on first and one out, replacing Bo Jackson in the sixth. Holding the runner on, and he is going to attempt to steal second base. So I'm going to use the stealing bases card because they're holding him on. His 3-4 goes to a 3-2. Here we go. Stealing second base. The steal is a C-1-4. Remember, we replaced our catcher. And our catcher is, let's look, Jody Davis. Says C-1-4. Jody is a C-3-4. So he wins on both. He just gunned down, gunned him. Roger Metzger, trying to steal, is out. Caught stealing. How about that, man? How about that? Mm. So, that's an out. You put the pip back on Riho for the stolen caught. And that's two outs. And they say Mel Hall still up. Spin the pitcher. Riho spins. A B to Mel Hall. Spinning Mel Hall. And Mel Hall walks. Riho says use a respin. Spin again. Spinning Mel Hall. And Mel spins a double. On a respin by Riho, Hall comes through with a double. Look at that, man. That's pretty cool. Take away and get a burn. How about that? So one, two on second. A pip down. <clears throat> All right, up is Rob Wilfong, and they are going to announce a pinch hitter for the second baseman, Rob Wilfong, and it's going to be Billy Ripken. Okay. With the runner on second, one out, Billy Ripken's up, and they're going to replace Jose Rijo. Taking him out of the game, and they're bringing in Dan Spillner. 
Spilner's a 4-0, so he gets four pips. They're going to put more activity up in the bullpen, and they're going to get up Tom Needenfewer. Okay. And with a runner on second, Billy Ripkins up. Spin the pitcher. Spinning and gets a B. A BZ line, but it's righty to righty, so it's going to be a B. Spinning Billy Ripken. Ripken spins. A two. He has no respins, so that is the third out in the inning. No runs. After five innings of play, we are double tied at two to two. Okay. Into the game. Come in is Rob Dibble for team number seven. Dibble is a 1-3 that gives him four pips and three respins. We're going to warm up another pitcher. They're going to get up Byron McLaughlin. Okay, McLaughlin needs five spins for warm-up. That brings up Mike Hargrove. Hargrove, playing at first base here, is going to go ahead and bat. They are going to play a sack 1-1-0. Let me put this team over here in their holder. A 1-1-0, they're going to play back. Dibble spins. Spins a B. He's going to use a respin. That's spin number two, trying to warm up McLaughlin. He spins a home run minus to Mike Hargrove. Hargrove spins an eight. That's a fly ball. Hargrove does not have, he has a respin. He is going to use that respin right now. Hargrove is using that respin. This is spin number four on just the first batter. And he spins a strikeout. So Dibble strikes him out. That's four spins. He need, Byron McLaughlin needs five to be loose. He's got four in just one batter. So you can see you can keep tabs of it like that. They're going to take Spilner and put him out because he's not going to pitch anymore. And that will lose that over there. And that means that I need to change that pitcher. See how you keep tab of that? Okay. That brings up Ken Reitz. Reitz entered the game for Jeff King back in the third. They're going to allow Reitz to, to go ahead and... No, they're, they're not. They're going to take out Reitz. And they're going to bring in third baseman, George Brett. Reitz is done. And Brett comes in with one out. Spinning Rob Dibble. They're going to play back for Brett. Dibble spins a strikeout. Cannot re-spin a strikeout. Strikeout number two for the Dib man. Bringing up Mike Young. And uh, they're going to let Mike Young go ahead and hit because he pinched Rand last time. And Field's going to play deep. And he spins another strikeout. That's three outs. And Dibble comes in and just throwing nothing but 100 mile an hour heaters. Strikes out the side. Man, how about that? Dibble comes in, does his job. They'll take him out. And in comes Tom Needenfewer. He's a 2-1. So he gets three pips, one respin. And they're going to warm up another pitcher out here. And the pitcher they're going to warm up is Bob McClure. Getting up Bob McClure. And we're in the bottom of the sixth in a 2-2 two -two ball game. We have Rob Wilfong up. Okay, and uh, in the sixth inning, Will Fong is the second baseman. They're going to pinch hit for Will Fong. Just not. They're going to leave Will Fong in. They're going to let him let him play because Metzger came in there. So they're going to let Will Fong play. Will Fong is a 3.22. He strikes out. That's a K by Needham Fewer. My bad, guys. Will Fong was not up. It was Albert Bell who was up. And he hit the homer last time. We're going to let him stay in. And that, we're going to take the strikeout because it is a strikeout. So that's a strikeout for 
need and fewer. One out. Brings up Ron Jackson, the first baseman. They're going to pinch hit for Ron Jackson with Cecil Cooper. So Jackson is gone. With one out, Cecil Cooper's up, who does have a respin 33 spin, the pitcher. Need fewer spins a B. Let me double check. A BF line. I have a lefty to a righty. Take the B. Needing fewer is not going to challenge it or respin it. He's just going to let it ride. Cooper spins an 11 2 line. That would be a double. Good thing he saved his respin because he's using it right now. You see what we did? We didn't burn the respin on the spin here. We burned the respin on Cooper's double. So we're going to have to respin that for Cooper. Cooper spins. And wow, and I'm just talking how great a move it was, and he hits it right smack dab in the middle of the home run. So sometimes the greatest come back to bite you, and there it was, a home run for Cecil Cooper. How about that? You know, here I, oh, good grief, y'all just not going to let me live this down. I know you guys that watch this are going to just crack up on this. Here he goes. Dennis says he does this great move, and then all of a sudden it just, boom, backfire. Home run, Cecil Cooper. <laughs> That's star power baseball at its best, guys. Enjoy. All right, Ron Renicky is up now. He's the right fielder. We're going to pinch hit for Ron Renicky, who sacrificed Bunnett on his only trip to the plate. And we're going to pinch hit with Dave Winfield. So Winfield comes in for Renicky. And Tom Needenfewer <laughs> Needenfewer is out there mad. Should have let me reach it. Here comes Winfield spinning. A single. Needenfewer can't do anything about it. Winfield is safe at first. He's a running 34. Safe at first. Needenfewer down to one pip. And Winfield singles. All right. <laughs> what a ball game. This is bad news, man. This is the way to play. All right, Steve Ontiveros is up, and we're going to pinch hit for Steve. You're seeing it all right now, guys. We're pinch hitting for Steve with Pedro Guerrero. Okay. Pedro Guerrero with a runner on first. Needing fewer. They're going to hold the runner on first base. Here goes Needing Fewer to Guerrero. It's a B. Pedro spins. A 14. That's an infield pop-up. He has a respin. He's going to use it. His only respin. He's using it now with one out and a runner on first. Spinning Pedro Guerrero. Spinning Guerrero and he spins up another 14. Infield pop-up for the second out. That brings up Gary Maddox. And they're going to allow him to hit. Go for it, Gary. Here we go. Spinning needing fewer again. They're not going to run this time. And he spins the F. Maddox has zero respins. So that's the third out. No runs. But the, um, excuse me, one run. So the score at the end of six, team seven, three, team six, two. That's going to do it for needing fewer. Hard luck, Tommy. They're going to bring in Byron McLaughlin. He's an S5 plus zero. So he goes here. Five pips, no respins. Getting up another pitcher. The pitcher that's going to get up is Bert Blyleven. <laughs> you heard me. This Team 7's loaded, so is Team 6. If you guys haven't bought uh, Set 7 and Set 6 of the... Uh, of the free agent set. That's what I'm using right now. And this is a blast. This game is really fun. A lot of players playing. A lot of interchangeable parts here. Okay. So, we're up with Paul Householder, the right fielder. And we're going to pinch hit for Paul Householder. And the pinch hitter is going to be, check this out, man. You ready for this? Neon Dion. Deion Sanders is pinch hitting for Householder. 
Neon Dion is a sack 155. So they're going to move in at third base for Neon Dion. McLaughlin says to spin the pitchers. McLaughlin spins and spins a B, a BX line. McLaughlin's a righty. Sanders is a lefty. Here's your choice. Do you take the chance of getting Dion hit and hurt, or do you take the chance of putting him on first base? They're going to elect to take the X, hit batter. That means they must re-spin. I mean, they must spin the injury card. If it lands on the one, Dion could be hurt. Spinning the injury card, it lands on the six. Dion is not hurt. Dion trots down to first base after having leaned into a curve ball. And on first base is Neon Dion. Pip comes off of McLaughlin. Hit batter for Dion. Hit batter for McLaughlin. Second hit batter for that team. Dion's on first. That brings up Jack Percante. And let's see here. He is our second baseman. I believe we can lift him for our second baseman right there, and we will. It's going to be Lou Whitaker. I said it, Lou Whitaker. Told you, this team's loaded, guys. This team is loaded. I'm coming in in the seventh inning with Neon Dion and Lou Whitaker. Yeah, Hall of Fame football player and a borderline Hall of Fame baseball player. So here we go. Whitaker is a 233. They're down by one. Dion is going to try to run. He's going to steal against Dennis Littlejohn, who's a C33. So we pull out the stealing bases card. Dion's a 55. They're holding him, so he's a 53. Here we go. Stealing second. As you can see, Dion is doggone. He's caught stealing. So he's out. One away that puts a pip back on Byron McLaughlin. Spin the pitcher for Lou Whitaker. Spin a B. He's trying to hit him again. Spinning Lou. Spins a six. That's a grounder up the middle. Ball goes to the second baseman. Not on the air, so that's two down. That brings up Jody Davis. They're going to pinch hit for Jody Davis. The pinch hitter for Jody Davis is going to be Ed Ott. All right, where are you at, Jody Davis? Where are you at? Uh, right there. Okay. Ott. Okay, here we go. Ed Ott's up with two outs. Spinning the pitcher. A B. Spinning Ed Ott. A single. No respins. So Ott singles. Now you take a pip off of him. McLaughlin gives up and hit. Ott is not very fast. He's a 1-0 runner. Hope you guys are following what I'm doing here. Okay, we just pinch it. Brings up Rick Burleson. Okay, the shortstop. They're going to pinch hit for Burleson with Craig Reynolds. Craig Reynolds is coming in, and they have now used all of their bench players. Reynolds is at 323. They're going to hold the runner, spin the pitcher. Got to go around three times. That was a bad one. Here we go. A B, spin the batter. Reynolds spins an infield pop-up. He does not have a respin. That is the third out. So, all of the player cards have been used by team number six. And now team number seven comes up to bat with no runs for team six in the seventh. No runs for team six in the seventh. The new pitcher for team number six is going to be Bob McClure. 
He is a 2-0, so he gets two pips. We're going to warm up Bill Castro in the bullpen. Okay, and here comes team number seven up to bat. Dennis Littlejohn, the catcher, is up. And they're going to replace him with Terry Steinbach. Here in the bottom of the seventh. Spinning the pitcher, Steinbach, no threat to bunt, not real fast. Burn another card. Steinbach bats. Here goes Steinbach. He singles, no respins, down to one pip. A single for Steinbach. Clark gives up a hit. Steinbach not very fast at 1 1. That brings up Roger Metzger. Metzger is the shortstop, and they will pinch hit for Roger Metzger with Dave Concepcion. I said it, that's right. Another superstar in the set seven, Davey Concepcion. He's a sack 245 coming in the game. These, these sets are loaded with great players, mediocre players, good players. All of them are major leaguers, so you're going to get great, great fun out of it. And as you can see, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Concepcion is now batting. So I've got him up. He's a 245. They're going to have to hold the runner, and uh, they're going to move in at third. Spin the pitcher. Bob McClure spinning to Davey Concepcion. And it's right in the middle of the X, guys. I mean, there's no way around that one. That is a hit batter. Nobody's got any respins on this. So up goes the injury card to Concepcion. Concepcion does not get hurt. Trots down to first base. That's no pips left for McClure, who hits Concepcion. Hit batter. That's the third. That's the first hit batter for their team. Okay, so Concepcion is at first. Move the runner to second. He's a 45. Very, very fast runner. That brings up Mel Hall. There's one bench player left, and they're going to use him right now. Replacing Mel Hall is going to be Dwayne Murphy. And now both teams have used all of their bench players, which is the goal, right? And we're in the seventh inning, so we've used all the bench players. Murphy's at 333, and you got Billy Ripken on deck. Okay? So they're going to play the infield in with two outs. I mean, you're going to play in it. I mean, no outs. You're going to play in at first and third. Stop this bunt because Murphy can lay it down. So Murphy says spin the pitcher. We're not going to sack. We're going to spin. Home run minus to Dwayne Murphy. A good, solid ball player. Ten-point center fielder. Murphy spins a ground ball. A 12 is an opposite field ground ball to the third or short. It goes to the shortstop. Had it landed on third with him in, it would have been a base hit. But it lands on second, so that means the middle infielder picks it up. That'll be the shortstop. You see what I'm saying? I hope you understand. Second and short is the middle infield. So the ball's hit to a middle infielder. A 12 is an opposite field ground ball for a lefty. So he's hitting it to this side. The middle infielder on this side is the shortstop. So the second base shortstop area, that goes to the shortstop. Respinning that to spin the outer circle now, and it winds up a D. That is a 6-4-3 double play. Boom, you're out, and Murphy is retired on a double play. That gives Metzger back a pip, but since he's already tired, it no longer matters. So you have an erasure, 6-4-3, but a run to third base. Murphy is out. And that brings up Billy Ripken with two outs and a runner on third. Spin the pitcher. We're going to take out the pitcher. McClure is done. He goes two thirds. And we're going to bring in Bill Castro. Bill Castro's coming in for McClure. Castro is a two plus two. So he's going to have four pips with two respins. 
New pitcher warming up will be Neil Heaton. Okay, Billy Ripkins up with two outs. Here goes the spin, spin the pitcher. He spins a B. Billy Ripkin gets to spin. And Ripkin spins a seven. That's a single. Bill Castro will make him re-spin that. Spinning Bill Ripkin. And he spins a seven again. How about that? Isn't that awesome? I'm playing this really, really well, and I get burnt on the respins. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. So bad that it's good. And that run is charged to McClure. And now Ripken, one of the hosts of MLB, is now on first base with two outs. That brings up Rob um, Albert Bell. Albert Bell, who's been in the whole game, who's homered, walked, and struck out with a runner on first. Spin the pitcher. Here goes Castro, spinning to Albert Bell. Albert Bell spins. A B, spin the batter. And Albert Bell hits another home run. Oh, my goodness. I, I haven't gotten excited this whole game, except on the double and then a homer. And here's another home run, barely inside the line by Albert Bell, but inside the line anyway, and they count. So that's a two-run shot for Albert Bell. Yes, sir. Look out. Albert now has four RBIs. Castro gives up a hit and a homer. Loses another pit. <laughs> Not that he cares about the pit as much as he does about that two-run jack. All right. Here's Cecil Cooper, who was the guy last time that spun the double, respin that I'm so good home run. So here goes Castro to Cecil Cooper, a B. Spinning the card, Cecil Cooper, spin the batter. He spins a ground ball. See where it's two. It is on, not on the air, so that is three outs. Okay. But they do score three big ones in the bottom of the seventh. Three big runs cross the plate. Here comes the pitcher. The change of pitcher is Burt Blylevin. Burt Blylevin is a seven plus two, so he gets nine pips. There's six, and three is nine, with two respins. Out goes Castro, losing that. And up is, they have no bench left. Neil Heaton will be their final player, and they got everybody in. Team number seven is going to warm up another pitcher. And they're going to warm up Ron Guidry. Okay, Bly Levin pitching to Von Hayes. Infield's back. Spinning the pitcher. A B to Von Hayes. Spinning Von Hayes. An 8 fly ball. Von does not have a respin. That is one out. Bly Levin does his job. And they're going to take him out of the game, bringing in Ron Guidry. Guidry is also a 7-2, which is a 9. Warming up in the bullpen is going to be Guy Hoffman. Okay. Don Mattingly facing Ron Guidry. Guidry, who is not warmed up yet, needs spins, spins the pitcher. A B, Don Mattingly is up. That's one, two, three, three spins. This is four. And seven, eight line. That's Guidry's line. Mattingly will use his respin. That's one, two, three, four. This is five. Spinning strikes him out. So this is Guidry. Gets a strikeout. That's two outs, and they're going to change pitchers again. And they're going to bring in Guy Hoffman. 
He is a 3-0. Three, three pips. Warming up in the bullpen is Danny Jackson. <laughs> I'm trying here, guys. I'm giving it my best shot. I think I'm going to just have two guys not going to get in the game. Mike Hargrove's up, spinning a warmed-up Guy Hoffman. B, spin Hargrove. Spinning Hargrove. And he spins an infield pop-up with one respin. Hargrove's going to use it. Yes, here we go. I don't see him use the respin down there. Yes, he did. Oh, goodness. I'm looking here, and it says I got a respin. So that will do it. That will do it right there, guys, for them. That's a strikeout. No runs. And that would be Hoffman. And that's the third out. And no runs. Bottom eight. Coming up. Okay, so you take these guys, put them over here. And Castro's done. In comes Heaton. Neil Heaton coming in. You see, try to stay with me here, guys. I know I mumble a lot. 6-0. He got six pips, no respins. Hoffman's finished. Okay, and that brings up Dave Winfield. Singled last time. Heaton spins. Winfield's not going to bunt. A B to Dave Winfield. Winfield spins. A single, that is what he gets. There's no respins for Neil Heaton. Winfield's on first. He's a 34. Down to five pips. Hold the runner on first base for Pedro Guerrero. Spinning the pitcher. A B. Pedro Guerrero gets to spin. He spins a 13 as a single. To where? To center, we'll stop the runner at second base. Guerrero's a 33 at first. Takes him down to four pips. And we have runners at first and second with nobody out. Gary Maddox is up. Spin the pitcher. Spinning Neil Heaton. He gets a B. Looks like Heaton's in trouble. Gary Maddox spins. A 13-5 line. It's right there on that 13-5 line. Maddox is a righty, Heaton is a lefty, that is a triple. And boom, and boom, everybody scores. A 44, there's no pitchers left. Neil Heaton is the sacrificial lamb. Two runs across the plate. Bang-a-rang. I like that in a hook. Two runs score. Gary Maddox of 44 is on. Terry Steinbeck infield is going to move in. He's down to three pips. A B to Terry Steinbach. Steinbach pitches a double. They are killing him. Heaton is getting slaughtered. Okay. Beware of using the Neil Heaton card. How about that? I'm going to give you a heads up right there. Because he's given up three, four hits to four consecutive batters. There is nobody out. we got a run on second base, and it's not looking any better. Because here comes David Concepcion with nobody out. Spinning the pitcher. There you go. That's a ground ball. Concepcion has no respins. Ball is hit to the second baseman. If anything, any, anything but a red letter, he'll move. It's not. He moves over. One out. Anything but a red letter when the ball's hit to the oppo, anything but a, but a colored letter, and he'll move over. Colored letter, you do what the colored letter says. Dwayne Murphy is up. Murphy ground into a double play last time. Infield is playing in. That's on a BZ line. Murphy's a lefty. Heaton's a lefty. He'll take the pitcher will choose. He'll take the B. Murphy spins with the infield in. Murphy spins a 6-5 line, 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 line. A 6-5 line, 
Heaton gets the lines. He'll take the six. Middle ground ball. Ground ball is hit to the second baseman. And we take the infield in card now for the play at the plate. Infield in, play at the plate. The ball is hit to the second baseman. Remember that. Second baseman got the ball. Here we go. The play at the plate states H. H, the runner holds his position. Batter out at first. So, that was uh, Dwayne Murphy. Gets a ground out. Runners hold. Now you have two outs for Billy Ripken. Infield's back again. Heaton spins. And another G. That will end the inning mercifully. With three runs crossing the plate. Now we go to the top of the ninth. And Danny Jackson's going to come into pitch. We're not going to go extra innings if it winds up a tie. It's a tie, so I'm going to take him out of the game. Bill Lee is going to warm up. Danny Jackson's coming in the game. He is a 6-0, so he gets six pips. And he's pitching to George Brett. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, we saved the best for last. You got Brett and then Young and Dion. Oh, yeah, good lineup here coming up. Here we go. George Brett. It feels back for Brett. There's one spin. Minus home run for George. George spins. A 6-11 line. Lefty to lefty. Brett loses the line. Jackson gets the line. He takes the six. But George Brett gets a respin. So this will make the third respin. You see he has one respin. So we'll put him back in the card holder. Spin him again. And he spins a 12. That's an oppo grounder to this side over here. Does not land on the E. So you have one away. That was one, two, three, four spins so far. Bill Lee needs six to warm up. So two more spins and Bill Lee is going to be loose. Mike Young is a 122. They're going to play back for Michael Young. He's a bats both, so he does get the lines. Spinning Mike Young on the B result. And that is a fly ball to the outfield. An eight, anything but the E, he's out. He is out for the second out. And now we're going to take out Danny Jackson. And we're going to bring in the spaceman, Bill Lee. Tell me this isn't great. Everybody got to play. Bill Lee is a six plus one is a seven. With a respin. And he's facing... Neon Dion with the score at uh, six and three, nine to two. Here comes Dion. They're going to play in at third for Dion, and Dion just waves to him and says, Come on. Lee goes, Here's the Ephus pitch to Dion, and it's a B. Dion spins the batter card and gets a eight fly ball. Does Dion have a respin? He does not. Spinning Dion. For the fly ball, anything but the E, he's out. And Dion, you can wave all you want, but you might as well sit down because that's the old ball game, guys. And the team over here, the home team, wins 9-2. to two, Played all 36 players on each team. Final score, again, 9-2. to two. Oh, well, there you go, friends. What a ball game, huh? I mean, you got to see Star Power Baseball to the max. Everything that you can do in the game, we pretty much did. We had instant replay challenges, both teams. One overturned, one not. We had uh, all eight strategy cards got used. Infield, infield in, outfield, drag bunt, sacrifice bunt, injury card, uh, uh, whatever else we had, uh, ground ball and play at the plate, all of them, they all got used. Every card 
that we have got used. All 36 players got used. All 36 players on each team. So we substituted, we went in, we went out, we did all that stuff right there. No errors. We didn't have any errors. That, that's kind of surprising in a game like this. We didn't have any errors. We had stolen base. We had caught stealing. Uh, no, we did have an error. I take it back. We did have one error. We had an error on Robin Yount. So yeah, we did have an error. We had hit batters. Didn't have a wild pitch. No wild pitches that I can see here. No, no wild pitches. We had hit batters. Albert Bell hits two homers. Set seven's loaded, but set six ain't bad with George, yeah, George Brett. They got some, Dion Neon, man. They got some players out there on set six. Set seven and set six, both real good. Those are sets on the free agent era. Set seven released uh, probably the end of January. It'll be released. It's out now, but it's not been released yet. I'm still kind of working, tweaking a little bit. Set six gets released tomorrow. That's right, New Year's Day. Today is New Year's Eve. Tomorrow is New Year's Day. And set number six is out there for you to get. Eight bucks for that set. You can't, can't go wrong. I mean, eight bucks includes shipping. Mail me eight dollars, mail me a check, get on PayPal, whatever you want to do, and get that set. Just shipping's included in the eight bucks. I'll have it out there just as quick as I can. Mailed out about five sets of cards today. People are loving these cards and loving the game. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Star Power Baseball from the Cincinnati Razorback Room in beautiful Siloam Springs, Arkansas. I'm Dennis. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Star Power Baseball on Facebook. Get on the page and learn more about the game. Make some comments, see who's in the community. We're up to over 160 people in our community right now. So come on and join in on the fun. Make some comments, have some questions, ask away. And hey, shout out out there to a couple of my friends, uh, Gabe. Good to hear from you, and we're working on those individual season teams. Muddy, ready to play you in just a couple of days on Sunday with our Step Up League. Hey, Frank, same thing goes for you. Robert out there in Indiana, good talking to you the other day with your suggestions. Hey, guys, all of you out there, John, thanks for doing the webpage. I can't, I, I, there are too many of you to thank. I mean, good grief, we're over 160 people. I don't even know. I can't fathom that. I never dreamed it would happen. And you guys are making our dream come true. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Check us out. Email me at warhammerworld at hotmail.com. Call me, 479-263. That's on the screen right there. Just give me a call. And I'll talk with you about the game. I've got the game out there now. i got games ready to go. I've been out of them for a while. They're ready to ship. Now, right after Christmas, you should get them in three to five days. Call me, order them, whatever you need to do. I like you. I want to talk to you. Again, this is Dennis from the Cincinnati Razorback Room. And hey, keep spinning.